What's up guys welcome back to Tech Phantom and let's talk about the all new features tips and trick for the OnePlus 11 which you should know whether it's the edge panel or floating window so if you are new here do consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us so let's get started so the very first thing is an a turn you can turn any app into the floating window now to turn on this feature simply what you have to do Open that app and then hold on this app until you see over here an icon now this app has been converted into a floating window and you can adjust if you want to use it in this way and it just says height what you want and also in the full screen mode also the next thing which comes is the big folders now in large app folders this can be enabled with the help of the android 13 and the oxygen os 13 which is present all you need to do is press on this icon which is the enlarged folder and your folder will be enlarged and more icons will be visible in your phone directly the third step which we also have is the smart suggestions or the smart sidebar which is present on the oneplus phones and it will open an app in the pop-up form so all you have to do is scroll down to the notification panel head on to the settings and we close this and you have to search sidebar now the sidebar is available and you can have to select check this and your sidebar will be available and you can also edit it as per your needs whatever needs which you want in your sidebar apps next one is an easy gesture to move to the split screen mode all you need is your three fingers and you have to swipe it from the bottom and actually the sidebar doesn't support the this app doesn't support the split screen Now the next feature is the easy split screen screen gesture. Now if you are using an app and if you want to use split screen then you, all you have to do is take three fingers and then swipe it up and you can use any app which you want in the split screen. Now for you here reference I will open Google Chrome and you can see it is visible and The next feature is the split screen now if you split screen gesture now all you need is a three or three fingers suppose i have opened spotify over here and i want to use it as a split screen all i need to do is an open app, another app suppose if i want to use spotify and chrome it can be used very easily without any external support or hand now apart from that split screen also one plus which offers is reachability for reachability or to use a one-handed mode then you can all you have to do is a bit from the bottom you have to scroll and swipe down towards the gesture now this will enable half a screen and it can also be used very easily if you want to reach at the top of the bar now the next feature which comes is in the camera app and i what i'll do is just simply i'll switch to the front camera and with just my palm and I can take photos now, it's a very easy gesture uh, to use and you can find it very helpful but also the next thing which is just single tap to take photos now both of these features can be enabled inside the settings of your camera app and it will be coming over here and you can find the effects under the shooting range and all you have to do is to enable these three two features well, it will be very handy if you are a multiple user and you want to use the phone very quickly. The next feature also comes inside the camera and is the zoom option. Now, as you can see, I can zoom in from the volume buttons from the OnePlus phone and if 
by default it's not enabled all you have to do is again you have to reach out to the camera setting and then all you have to do is scroll down and hit the volume button action by clicking on the volume button action you have to select it to the zoom shutter or even the volume change whichever preference to you want over here if i do the cameras then it will take photos and if i again change option then it will be zooming and zooming out from the volume buttons which is again a good feature to have in your phone now the next thing to have in this phone is again uh next thing which comes is the haptics and you can adjust your phone's haptic as per your needs whatever you feel or desire to have the haptics all you need to do is go into sound and vibrations and you have to like the haptics and tones and you will be finding all the system haptics which kind of haptics you can want you can also intense the set the in intensity of the haptics which is again a very good feature and you will can find the haptic type which type of haptic do you need in your phone now the next feature which comes is again bring back the power button as you can see hold the power button and power volume down as the button all you have to do is hold and click on the change settings and the power button option settings you can click it under the power menu directly now it will bring back us the old power button to restart the phone or to power of the phone and also the emergency sos features which is a very good thing now apart from that there are also some settings or we can say gestures options available in the phone which is a three finger swipe short option in the phone and you can also find the scrolling options which is available in the phone itself and it's by default active and but you can also get some of these gestures to open some of the camera features and also the if you are playing a music or a pausing a music too now to use this features you have to go into the phone settings and search for gestures and click on clicking on the gestures you will find all the gestures now all you have to do is click on the gestures and motions and from here you will be finding all of the gestures which you need on your phone also you can mute calls with a single palm of a hand which is again a very helpful feature to have in your phone and there is also raise to wake and lift to ear to directly to answer the calls now if you enjoyed this video do consider subscribing to our channel tech phantom and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us thanks for watching and i'll see you in the way next one